I was working for went under. So when they heard that the company I worked for went under, they contacted me. So we went and I knew where I was going. <laughs> I knew exactly where I was going. Yeah. A friend of mine worked here as a broker for a while and he said it was a great place to work. I had friends that were working here and it's the atmosphere you work in. It's, it makes a big difference when you, you're looking for a new job. What I desire for the guys is to be respected where they work. Be respected within, you know, within our, our pool of customers. You know, and, and it's a tough job because, like it or not, you know, there's, there's a ton of disrespect for truck drivers in, in the country. Our operations, you know, week in, week out is still placing the highest value that there is on the driver. My dad was an owner operator in the 70s and 80s with one truck, you know, and then as they they got into three trucks. I remember my mom and my dad arguing a little bit that my dad always wanted to pay the drivers a little bit more than anyone else. My dad always had, you know, the best sayings for everything. You know, when the drivers would be leaving, always tell them, you know, don't forget there's two miles a ditch for every mile of road. And, and it was true then and it's true now. You know, and then if we get a new truck or a new trailer or something, and, and be kind of proud of it, but he'd say there's, there's no sense in being poor and looking poor. I wouldn't say that, that my dad ever had big plans of being a huge fleet, you know, just a great fleet, you know, where equipment you can be proud of, drivers you can be proud of. There's certain times where maybe apparently you can get paid more, you know, on some advertisement, but we do pay the best, but it's stable employment. You just never really have a bad month. Kelsey, one thing about it, they're an established company. The work is always there. There is no sitting around here. Like our guys very rarely ever have to sit and load up right away, come right back home and get a few days off when they are. It's not uh, push, push. You don't have to turn around and go right back out unless you want to. You know, loads are here if you want them, and the work is here if you want them. I got the phone call that nobody ever wants to get, that my father died in a motorcycle accident. And Mike made phone calls. He would have booked my airplane ticket, but he got me a place to park my truck. Our company delivered my load. He looked after all that for me, and he didn't have to. Like, I'm not saying there's some places that wouldn't, but he made sure I was looked after. And my truck was looked after for three weeks at Satin Regina. Saskatchewan. You know, they, uh, they'll go above and beyond if, they, if required. So they're always working with us and always doing things for us. Because uh, I was here a couple of months and I broke my leg and I was off for three months and they were on the phone at least once a week making sure everything was good. And everything money was coming in and the checks were coming in and everything was and I can't ask more from Tyler or Jim for that. They just look after me and I look after them and I just keep going, right? It's, it's, they're great people to work for and you, you don't look anywhere else once you're happy, you, you just stay. And that's the main thing I think in the industry is your bosses. If they take care of you, they look after you, they talk to you like people, you're not a number here. So yeah, I, it's, it's, it's all good for me, that's for sure. <laughs> going on 15 years and it's been awesome. I myself understand, you know, the strains and the stresses that are put on a truck driver from, you know, being away from your family for an extended period of time. The stress of, you know, law enforcement, the logbook regulations and where to park, where to wash your clothes, where to get a shower, all that stuff, you know, I understand it. Our team understands it and our job as management and stuff is to try and relieve some of that stress, not put more on. We pride ourselves on, you know, just the highest level of service. And, you know, with that, you're gonna need the best drivers 
that you can recruit. You got to be willing to pay for it. You got to, you know, have the best equipment around for them. And if we have good drivers, everything else works. If we don't have good drivers and enough of them, nothing works. And uh, and that's that's not going to change now or ever.